So it did take its time, but uh, fall is finally here. That's autumn for all you guys that gave me a hard time for calling it fall last time. And for denim heads and John's enthusiasts alike, that's like our favorite time of year. With fall comes a lot of opportunities. So many possibilities. Actually be comfortable in your raw denim jeans, that's always a good thing. You've got the possibility to layering up, layering down, depending on the weather. And it also comes with a lot of opportunities to just buy a bunch of new shit. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna to be going through a bunch of new shit that you could buy and that I might buy. And this is gonna be a full top to do video. We're gonna go over hats, we're gonna go over scarves, thermals, so that's like a cozy t-shirt. Gonna go over sweats, we're gonna go over jumpers. For my American brethren, you can Google that. We're gonna go over jackets, we're gonna go over jeans, of course. Trousers, socks, shoes, boots, and gloves. I guess gloves should have been somewhere in the middle of that, but uh, they're there too. And just looking at that list, um, yeah, that's quite a lot. So considering my, uh, there's my glasses. Uh, yeah, considering my fondness to be using five words and one would do, this is gonna be a long one, so strap in. All right, let's start things off with the hat. And I think you guys can tell, I do love a watch cap. And this one here, this merino wool one here, from Japanese brand Mr. Fat Man. This is really doing it for me. I mean, I'm loving this brown color, but it also comes in blue and it comes in green, so pick your favorite flavor. And now to the scarf. Scarves can be a really, really good way to add a little uh, pop to your outfit, but sometimes you just want them to keep your, your neck warm. And so I've got two that's gonna take care of either polar opposites of either eventuality. The first one is for that pop. And let's face it, nobody pops quite as well as Capital. This is called the, the Glitter Oshwashi, and I have no idea what that means. But I, I also don't really know if it is a scarf or a blanket or an angel cosplay. But I do know it's, it's awesome. And honestly, if you were to, to just like wrap it around yourself like you would like a normal scarf, it's not gonna be overly extra. Second up is, that's not plugged in. Second up is just the keeping your, your neck warm category. And it's from the guys who are used to keeping your feet warm, Rototo. That was just a way to say that they also make socks. But this is 100% merino wool. It is super soft, super cozy. It comes in this beautiful color that they call bottle green. I call it blue, but it doesn't really matter. Either way, it's awesome. Now, I think scarves are the only are the only section that I had two options in. Next up are thermals. Now, I never really rated thermals all that much until Mr. Putin decided to put my heating bills up by 400%. And now they're my best friend. I alternate between this one from 316 and this one from Ironheart. Both of them are amazing. And to put on top of those thermals, a sweatshirt. Now recently I've been trying to cut ties, cut my dependency on hoodies. I don't need it. I need it! It's nothing personal hoodies, it's just, it's time. So sweatshirts are gonna be the way to go for that kind of like in betweeny temperature time where it's not quite cold enough for a woolly jumper, <coughs> but it's not quite warm enough just for a thermal. So anyway, sweatshirts are the way to go. And I have got my eyes on these ones from Benzite Denim Developers. I mean, they've got, they've got a, a bunch of the traditional colors of so the black, the gray and the oat ones, but I really am appreciating these, these garment dyed ones here. I don't know, they've just got that sort of muted, kind of well-worn, well-loved vintage vibe to them. I, and I'm really appreciating that. Right, next, a jumper. And before we get into this, I've got a question for my American brethren out there. So I call this a jumper. What, what do you call it? You call it a, a sweater, right? Because, I mean, for me, a sweater is somebody that you don't really want to sit next to in a plane. With that logic, you probably don't want to sit next to a jumper either. But anyway, just let me know. So jumper, and with my jumper choice, I'm gonna show a little bit of love to my adopted homeland, Germany, and go with this one from Heimat. And it is the roll neck U-boat, and it comes in 100% virgin wool. And of course it's got the roll neck, it's 
in the name and it's also got roll cuffs. I mean, this thing is just made to, to keep out the cold. I'm going to go for the black one. That's just out of sheer practicality. I mean, there's this white one, which I absolutely love, but uh, that's for people who spill a lot less than me. There's a red one, bold. Uh, there's a blue one. There's another blue one. And then there's this orange one. If traffic cone cosplay is your king. No judgment. Right, sure. Now, okay, this one, actually I do have two options for. I, I did only have one option for it, but uh, then a newsletter from Benzat Denim Developers landed with this shirt here, and it's amazing, so I've got to include it. Right, but to the, the first choice, or the, the original choice. And, I mean, of course, it's a flannel shirt. I mean, what is better than, than a flannel in, in the autumn months? It's, it, it just makes sense. And when I was, when I was making my, my decision, when I was picking the, the one I wanted to include in this list, I mean, everybody seems to be going absolutely apeshit for, for the flannels from a certain Japanese brand that may or may not specialize in 21 ounce denim. But honestly, I mean, they are great, really, but I want to offer up an alternative. And in my opinion, the best alternative to that are these ones from 316. I, I don't know, there's something about them. There's there's the fabric, which is just the best that they've ever produced. There's the, there's the fit, there's the detailing, there's the quality. They're just so, so good. I love them. And the other shirts, as I said, it's from Benzite Denim Developers, and it is this here, 9.5 ounce, what do they call it, Scout shirt? Yeah, Scout shirt. I, 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 I really, as soon as, it, uh, as soon as the email loaded, uh, I, I loved it. I really fell in love with it. It is just that perfect, mix of military inspiration but with the corners knocked off and the detailing that that they've included in this it's just it's got such a nice refinement to it and because it's benzite because i know the brand because i love the brand i know it's going to be amazing quality and it's going to fit me very very well jeans and okay you better believe that this was a tricky one and there's just so, so much good denim coming out at the moment. Okay, I mean, I was narrowing it down because I am looking for the wider straight fits at the moment. That's just like my vibe right now. And then the, the, this one from Full Count, the 0105 New Wide Straight. I think that's what it's called. If it's not, I'll put it up here. But anyway, I mean, that seems to fit the bill. That's kind of in the name. I mean, along with that, I, I want to branch out a little bit and try some brands that I've never tried before and I've never tried full count. So it just, it makes sense. These ones, this, this pair here, they are in an unsamphrized denim, which I kind of like the idea of, although I keep telling people not to go for unsamphrized denim. But there is, there's a one washed version as well, which, Actually, honestly, that might be the that might be the choice I'll go for if I'm going for them. When I go for them, trousers. Now, despite popular opinion on this channel, you can't wear jeans every single day. Uh, you need a little bit of variety in your life. And off the back of the video that I did on the the MJ jeans, trousers, whatever the Shishiko ones, I'm realizing that there's more to life than just cotton twill and denim. And I've been looking at corduroy. There seems to be some really nice pieces made of corduroy these days. And this pair from De Bon Facture have really caught my eye. De Bon Facture has been low-key one of my favorite brands for a few years now. Uh, ever since a very well-known web shop accidentally sent me a shirt from them, which was dutifully sent back to them. And then they sent exactly the same shirt to me again. And since they didn't actually reimburse me for the postage back for the first time, the, the shirt's mine now. No such luck on a pair of pants yet. I mean, I just, I, I love the, the fit and the detailing of these. There's something about that 10 ounce corduroy. I mean, 10 ounces, it doesn't sound that heavy, right? But maybe it's something to do with the structure of the cords. It works very, very well with the style and just gives so much shape and structure to the pants. And moving on to the jacket, we're gonna stick with the bone factor. 
It's called the Grandad Jacket for reasons that I, I don't know. It seems to be one of the, the pillars of the brand. The, the style gets reimagined in different fabrics each season. And I, I can really understand why. It's just got that timeless style to it. And this iteration here has to be one of my favorites. It comes in this 89 smelt and wool in brown with a kind of, I don't know, a speckle texture throughout. It just gives the, the fabric so much depth. It, it's double breasted. It's got a great length to it. And it's got this sort of gown belt that I am really, really loving. Socks, just like the scarf, I'm going from Rototo. They are just the best ones I've found so far. And I'm fussy as hell about socks. They come in a wide variety of different colors and different patterns and blah, blah, blah. Personally, these simple gray ones with the color band up at the top, that's the ones I'm vibing with the most at the moment. They're, they're subtle, but they've still got a little bit of pop. These ones are a mix between silk and wool and I mean, it might just be my imagination, but I, I really think that reduces blisters a little bit. And um, yeah, they're just a very, very good pair of socks and I can recommend them. Okay, boots. And for boots, well, I've been messing with these so hard the last few weeks. This is a pair of Thoroughgood roofer boots and I got them years ago and never really wore them. I, I almost sold them countless times and the only reason I didn't is because I thought okay maybe I need a pair of boots to paint the house in or something. I, I'm very very glad that I didn't sell them or paint the house in them because I, I absolutely love them. I just love the style with the laces almost going all the way to the toe. It makes them so comfortable and so secure, I really appreciate that. And it's just something a little bit different, right? Unfortunately, it seems like they, they don't make these anymore, or at least I couldn't find them for sale anywhere. The closest I'd find to these are these Archie boots from, from Unbranded. Just looking at them, I might actually prefer the Archie boots to, to these ones, just simply because they seem a bit chunkier. And with the wider pants, with wider jeans I was looking at, I think that's gonna work really, really nicely. And also, I mean, I, I love that stacked leather heel. I, I love that pretty rugged lugged sole. Looking at the leather laces on the Archie boots, I might be swapping out these old raggedy Red Wing ones for a pair of nice fancy leather laces. Okay, um, shoes. And yeah, honestly, this is a hard one because I don't really wear shoes. I've been trying to make that, that transition or I've been trying to include a nice pair of shoes in my rotation, but it's not really happened yet. So when I saw this pair, which are a collaboration between the New York based brand Knickerbocker and the Italian shoe manufacturer Fracap, they're kind of in that in-between space between a shoe and a boot. Well, okay, let's, let's be completely honest here. I mean, like, you know that I know that you know that I know that the hiker shoes make no fucking sense at all. That doesn't really matter. What matters is that these are cool and I want them. Right, gloves. And I believe that is the last of the thing on the list, uh, unless I forgot something. And if I did forget something, I'm not going to put it on the end because it doesn't really matter. So this is the last part on the list. Okay, back, concentrate. Right, gloves. For me, now, there's only one glove company out there, and that is Sullivan Gloves. They really are just that good. They are amazing. They specialize in making leather gloves for motorcycling, for rodeo, for ranch workers. So you better believe that these things are made super, super tough. I think they're one of the last glove manufacturers in the US, but don't quote me on that. Okay, so I guess you've got one of two ways to go with this. You could get a pair of unlined leather gloves for the autumn time, or you could go for a pair of wool gloves. I might be tempted to go for the wool gloves, simply because it doesn't get that super cold in Berlin in the winter, and the wool gloves might just, they're, they're a little bit less bulky for putting in pockets and things like that. When it does get to the winter time, I've got my lined leather gloves, which are just amazing. I think that's everything. It's a lot as it is, but I guess if you're still hungry for more, you could check out this video here that I did on Black Friday Essentials. Yes, it's a year old, and yes, there's gonna be another one coming in a couple of weeks, but still relevant.